Bradley. And um, have him do an introduction as to himself because he's got quite an illustrious career. We're honored to have him as our chaplain. I can't think of anybody who I'd rather have. And uh, we're indeed privileged to have him now. Just so everyone knows, the chaplain program, which we brought here again uh, to Fairhope, will allow our officers who, during times of stress and those kinds of things, will have somebody that they can talk to. None of the things that you tell this guy can come back to me, you know, unless you're going to kill me or something like that, which according to today's newspaper, <laughs> May, we, we've got an issue. I'm just kidding. Don't put that in there. <laughs> but uh, self-destructive. Uh, <laughs> Let me get out of the people. <laughs> you know, it's Terry. <laughs> but uh, outside the scope of that, his 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 confidence uh, with these people will will be uh, assured. And it gives them an opportunity to vent and to relieve some of the stresses that they come in contact with. We deal, as most of you know, most people know that police officers often deal with things like death. And they're not easy. And sometimes that kind of trauma, although it stays with us for a long period of time, probably our whole life, some of us can pack it away and others of us can't exactly pack it away. And, and sometimes, uh, as a result, a new death will stimulate something to the point where the officer becomes emotional or something like that. Especially in the death of children and, and some other types of horrific deaths that we, we've seen in the past. So he will be a godsend to us, and at this time I'd like to present Dr. Bradley. I'm very honored to be given this opportunity to serve my Lord and my fellow man in the way that I can. I had 20 years in the military, eight were with the Navy, 12 with the Marine Corps. I was one of those lifers. I could have done 35 if my health would have let me. I loved it. Marine Corps is not for everybody, but it was for me. What I hope to do, and I hope I haven't overstepped my bounds, sir, Please, sir. Uh, as, right. as I promised a few months ago, I finally made contact this afternoon with someone that's going to, that is working with a rather large police department in a chaplain capacity and will be giving me information, guidance, and mentorship so we can, I can do the right things the right way. Uh, when it comes to confidentiality, that's my code of honor. Uh, something said to be in confidence does not go between myself and that individual unless that individual gives me permission to do so. That has to be the way it is. And uh, my wife is the Vice President of Operations of BES here in town, if you've heard of BES. Uh, it's an engineer architect uh, construction company on Fells Avenue. And so we've kind of made this a home. Now you just gotta bear with me in one regard though. We've been here four years, it could be another 14 years, but I'm still an Arkansas Razorback. <laughs> hey, to get no booze out of that, how about that? That's pretty good, isn't it? So it's just a shame. <laughs> But good to be with you. Here, now you can get me on film. It's all about the University of Miami. God bless oh, you. I can do any help. Just please let me know. It's a pleasure to be here tonight, Chief. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, sir. Uh, 